Hi people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. It's almost midnight here, that's why I'm uh, wishing you mid, um, happy good morning. Sorry. So today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from House of Latafa. This one is the second one from the line that I'm about to review, but I think I went reverse. Previously, I did review uh, Latafa's uh, Liam, but this was the other version. But uh, yeah, I'll keep it here. So the blue, I, I they don't put the name here. So uh, the other brother so I'll you check out my review on that that was a good uh, sort of a you can say replacement for Aquadigio Profondo sort of like that you know some of the other blue fragrances uh, not really crazy but it was good for the money the box and everything is exactly similar to this but uh, this one is the gray uh, shade or the gray color so the one we're going to review we'll be reviewing today is called Liam it's not a brand new fragrance it already is out for some time I think and got already reviews so uh, this is supposedly a good alternative to a fragrance called uh, BDK Perfumes, and I think it's called uh, uh, Grish, Grish Chanel, okay, or Grish Chanel, or Grish Chanel, perhaps, yes. Uh, not the extra version, the original one. Uh, so, previously, I did cover another one, uh, the Francic uh, 63 50.55. I'll leave it here and I'll compare that a little bit with this because they are basically uh, cloning the same fragrance. So, this fragrance, I paid $25 for it. It's not very expensive, but some of the lot of us could be had for like even cheaper, like $15, $20. It's about $25. Okay. Big box. And I did say in the previous video of this one, the blue. Let me get the name actually. Hold on. Yeah, this one is called Blue Shine. Uh, kind of difficult to remember all these names nowadays because they are not really exactly like blue, silver, gray like that. Okay. So the Blue Shine was a good one. Let's see how this one goes. Like same, but I feel the same for the boxes. Like you can literally fit in two fragrances here. You, you did not need this unless... You gave like a keychain or some merchandise inside you know that would be nice it, it would actually be utilizing the space but very big box 100 mo and there's the holographic sticker you can see you don't need to explain that much here are so many other uh, information it's a solid box i like that made in ua and it opens up like from front and it inside it shows uh, the coffin for the bottle not very uh, secure or soft but i like it you know it's, it's better than a typical presentation so for the price, you know, it looks nice, but I really feel you could have done the job with the exact half of the box, you know, uh, that would cover the bottle. It's just a waste of space. If you especially buying this and let's say traveling from Dubai or any other country on plane, uh, it will be like taking up so much space in your luggage and weight as well. The bottle is exact same with the blue shine. This one has the gray color or the, I don't know what color is this, okay, in front. And then it looks nice. The side, juice color grayish sort of and this is a thing you know shiny chrome kind of like a metallic cap metal or plastic i think metal and plastic perhaps together it says latafa so i'm wearing this fragrance here you can see the oil already let's just uh do here on this part of the arm um, sprayers are very very good so this thing doesn't click onto place that much and doesn't have also very good grip i suggest you pick it up and then open it so uh, let's talk about Grace Charnel. When I talked about Francic, I did say I tried maybe or I did not. I don't remember, but I don't have a review on that original one. So I will refer to Fragrantica where they have a note breakdown for uh, the Grace Charnel. And I think this one has like sort of a spicy opening, kind of like cardamom, fig, black tea, iris, bourbon vetiver, sandalwood, tonka beans. That's the whole composition of uh, that bdk perfumes chris chanel so what i uh, got from this i was very impressed i gave this a very high mark because i really, really liked it and i thought the fragrance world did a very excellent job on that one and i think uh, that fragrance is uh, truly a gem and i did show it to one of my brothers who actually owns chris chanel and he said this is pretty close and longevity from this is not bad at all so fragrance world uh, literally made like a very good clone so for uh, this one i don't know if this one came out before that uh, to compare this that one uh, with this that is going to be the test so let me spray a little bit more on my hand because i already have this here just to uh, you know bring back memory this one also has a great bottle and sprayer so the forensic one i don't i forgot how much i paid for it but i think more or less the same pricing i guess okay so what i smell okay when i smell them up top first okay uh this one the liam it's not as thick or as uh, bold or as gorgeous as the Francic one. Opening wise, I feel this is a tad bit sweeter. 
compared to that and this one feels like it has more notes the forensic one leomon feels like a little bit watery uh sweetish kind of like an wearable trying to be like a crowd pleaser sort of a clone that one says you know i i smell nice i have some spice but i don't have that bite you know both these fragrances opens up like that okay so latafa sort of made uh, you can say mm, how do i put this like a uh, agreeable performance average to above average performance uh, okay price nice presentation and you know when you get like a clone of uh, Gris Chanel, you know, uh, people, if you if it's available to you, you would actually get it and you'll not be so, like very disappointed. But the disappointment will come when you compare this one with that one. Uh, here, I'll tell you right up top, the Forensic one is a clear winner. This fragrance I really like. And I truly, I'll tell you, not just because it's a clone. I like it for the smell it gave me, for the composition. This is truly a gem. And I actually like that bottle a lot. This one, it's good. I like it but do not love it as much as I love the fragrance world one. The side by side, the comparison is so obvious. This one smells uh, much more potent. It lasts longer on me. It has a little bit more depth and I think I do get that figgy sort of uh, spiced up. Uh, the tea I don't get much but I do get like something. I, I did uh, check check out my review. I did say it in my review that I get like kind of a Chopard, uh, Oud, Malaki, you know, like Black Incense, Malaki, if you know those men in black it warms up really really nice so this one does have great excellent spices combination of the cardamom and i think the the what you call the sweetness it's also very nice at the base with the tonka so what i got from this one i think perhaps is a summer wearable version of grace charnel okay uh, i really want to get the original right now you know truly speaking i really want to get it uh, but as long as i have this i think it's going to be a better choice over this but it's not a comprehensive video okay so i'll tell you what you get good size of this price is reasonable bottle presentation is nice if you want to give it as a gift like give it as a gift they're not going to mind it you get like a decent three to four hours of longevity out of it not terrible like this one this one gets like three hours this one gets like four hours okay uh seasons to wait maybe all all year round you can wait as a signature scent i think ideal uh, place to wear it would be the office workplace uh something a formal you know gray shirt or gray suit like sort of affair but you have to go trigger happy with this one you have to go like eight to ten sprays to make it equivalent to three uh two to three sprays of that so yeah i mean overall not not bad at all at the smell wise i have no complaint there's no uh, alcohol uh blast on that but i think it's a very much like a shadow of the original uh gris charnel uh, perfume uh, if you can get it no problem no no issue at all if you can find it you can replace it with this but i'll tell you out of the two i think you should go for the fragrance world one that one has better quality and straightforward to the point and it has more boldness and projection as well that one perhaps is more winter friendly but uh, so when i say this winter friendly i would say uh, maybe in summertime it's going to be a bit much for summertime it can offer liam so ultimately uh, my uh, mark on this uh, i i blind bought this i'll give it a seven out of ten okay it's not bad but not the best also okay but you get good value for money from lots of us you guys know that it's not terrible fragrance on its own these fragrances are not bad at all okay so do let me know what you felt about liam by latafa and uh if you agree with me or disagree with me so uh i think if i get the great channel i'll definitely love to read it have a nice thanks for watching one more video then i'll upload this take care